this is hydrogen tap getting right along now back to the focus Q getting ready to go into the high voltages I've received a lot of email about it in the last months so what's a better time than now to start using it and let's see what's going on I'll be using the focus cue because it's so easy to change parts on it you can see the the jig I use here for the testing and we'll be using that as well show you some of the things I'm going to be using in case you're taking notes of course the focus Q is a dual or twin cell I'm going to be only using the top cell for this for the new test I'm going to be using this bridge connecting it directly to 110 in this case actually the AC that's coming through though that at this point moment in time is 125 volts this is the AC in the DC out so what I'm going to be doing is running that directly off the house current and I'll tell you what that is as you can see here this is the focus cue that I'm going to be using the full nine plate system positive on one side, negative completely on the other side. So there are seven neutral plates in between it. And the reason for that, the reason I can use the seven plates is obvious because we're going to be using over 110 volts. We've got DC coming out of the bridge, not AC in case someone wanders. So we're taking 100 in over 120 volts AC and bringing it down and I'll be showing you a meter to show you what that's about so being the twin cell the bottom cell I'm not using what I'm doing now is setting up the voltmeter this is on the DC side and you can see the voltage that's coming out in case anybody is wondering this is coming straight off the bridge I'm going to be doing a few tests before I start testing the outputs, but this ought to give you some idea what's going on, huh? Again, it's uh, running at 107.4 volts right now. You can see the you can see the amperage here. It's about five amps at 107.3 volts. Again, I'm not going to be doing the output test just yet. This will give you a idea of what's going on in the cell. Again, this is just the top cell. I'm only using one of the two cells. One of the things I'm trying to determine is whether the electrolyte's going to hold steady on this. What I'm going to do is try to bring this up to about 10 amps. So we've got this plugged into the AC outlet. 